Well, the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, was a week ago holidaying at Cable Beach in Broome, WA. It's a beautiful place. I have no doubt he had a roof over his head and a warm bed. His Canberra government are talking about an Indigenous voice in the Constitution, and if not that, 82% of our energy in 2030 to come from renewables. Meanwhile, victims of the bushfires of 2019-20 and the floods early this year in February in Queensland and New South Wales, hundreds if not thousands don't have a roof over their head or a warm bed. But government mo moves down its blind ideological path. All the New South Wales government seemed at the time to be worried about was how they could stop David Elliott becoming deputy leader and elevate their political kiss of death, Matt Keane, into a leadership position. It gives me no comfort to say it, but on this program, we say things as they are. In the New South Wales government, there is now a crisis in leadership. They respond to headlines which they think affect themselves, but ignore the headlines which affect others. So the flood catastrophe remains unaddressed. Plenty of reports. The Premier has a 700-page independent flood inquiry report, but five months after the floods, the Premier hasn't released it. So how do we, the taxpayer, help these victims of a natural disaster to enable them to move forward? More than 1,000 people are still homeless and living in emergency accommodation. This is Australia. Others are staying with family and friends or camping out on their properties. There's talk that $3 billion will be needed to help the Northern Rivers recover from the floods. And the Perrottet government says it'll ask the Feds to help foot the bill, $3 billion. But the keen budget that was brought down recently went on a $27 billion spending spree, but it cries poor over flood relief. There's a $1.5 billion in subsidies for electric vehicles for those wealthy enough to purchase a $65,000 car. There's $10 billion of your money allocated to green energy programs to reduce surface temperatures by 0 0.00055 degrees over a century. Janelle Safin must be shaking her head. At least come March, she'll most probably be in government and capable of persuading a new regime to properly prioritise spending to help those in need. Janelle Safin, the State Member for Lismore, joins me again. Janelle, I hate to have to be talking to you all the time, but I'm glad we are. What are things like? Can you just give us an update? Look, we're, as you said, five months on, just going into the sixth month and people are starting to say what's happening. We want direction. We want something concrete. We want to know if we can have buybacks of properties where it's dangerous to stay. We um, want to know what the future is going to bring for us. And I have called upon the Premier to release the report. And I said this, Ellen, I said, it's our report born of our experience, the government doesn't own it, but the government owns its response to us. And I said to the Premier, it needs to be released up here in and our he, community. And he said? And he said that was his intention and it's imminent. It's oh. being, you know, that it will I mean, be what, released. 